We've done our job. We, we now have two candidates for the uh, job of superintendent and we will begin the interview process uh, for the next 60 days. The two candidates are George Washington High School teacher Salvador Avila and Governor Eddie Bozzacalvo Chief Education Advisor Vince Leon Guerrero. Elected members to the GEB, like Joe St. Augustine, however, are questioning what happened to the third candidate. As we reported, the search committee previously announced that out of the nine applicants for the superintendent job, it would come up with a short list of three. According to St. Augustine, prior to this morning's meeting, he didn't know that was going to change. It's Vince Dungaro, Salvador Villa, and we're going in front. I said, okay, good. Then when they announced it, all of a sudden now, uh, you didn't agree? I just had some problems with that. It should have been just stick, stick with the three, stay with the program. Don't change, what did they say, right? Don't change horses in the middle of the race. St. Augustine, along with Jose Cruz and Ronald Azuzu, all elected members, voted in favor of the motion to consider three candidates, but the motion failed. Meanwhile, a permanent superintendent will not be named by the start of the new school year, but Santos is confident in the management team led by Talling Titano. Titano will act as interim superintendent for the next 60 days as Dr. Narissa Underwood's contract ends Friday. Well, I want to thank the board for um, having confidence in allowing me to lead the department for the short period. Titano's focus is to ensure schools have a successful opening for the new year. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Crystal Paco.